the really disappointing defeat to Norwich the other day. We made the trip to the DW Stadium. Well, let's be honest, the team that comes worse off by about 11 o'clock tonight will be in that bottom three. It's 21st place against 22nd place. A win for Wigan. We'll see them leapfrog us. We, both teams have lost the last three, so one record has got to give tonight. A draw... Well, it's not ideal, but at least we wouldn't drop into the bottom three. But it's something we really shouldn't be saying after the, the, the form we had the other week. Um, but yeah, obviously James McLean's going to be well up for it tonight. Hopefully he keeps himself off the score sheet. But I'll be honest, I'm not too confident about this one tonight. It's absolutely bucketing down. So without further ado, let's get up to Wigan. Come on, Stoke. <laughs> News is out. Three changes. Josh Tymon, Nick Powell and Jordan Thompson come in to replace Will Smallbone, Josh Lauren and Tariq Fosu who drops to the bench. James McLean starts for Wigan tonight. Um, I'm not confident at all so I'm going 1-0 Wigan. James McLean to score in the last minute and it'll just put us into the bottom three. I don't think anything's going for us. I think we'll be very wasteful of other chances again unfortunately. Hopefully I'm proved wrong but come on so. So half time and it's goalless. The biggest chance of the half you'd probably say was the Will Keane one. A couple of yards out has the header, goes over the bar. McLean's had a couple of chances, really, really rushed attempts. You can tell he's desperate to score um, and to be honest I feel quite sorry for him. Uh, for us though we've had a ball put across the box looking for Gale, that was unsuccessful. Brown's had a couple of digs. Both sides have had equal openings, Wigan have done a lot more with theirs than we have with ours. We've only put a couple of balls across the box and they've been, you know, pretty wasteful. We've been really slow in build up and I'd like to see us speed it up a little bit, change the tempo up a little bit. Getting into the second half, still going 1-0 Wigan McLean to score, but yeah, come on Stoke. Wigan forward. A very, very audacious attempt. Just escaped the first six. Jordan Cousins. It was curling. First six scrambled. Almost. This clock on the left. Low ball in. So, so close that safe corner. Reflections behind. Almost trickled in. In from 
Bacon headed away. Can it fall to Brown? A fox in the box, it has. Brown's turned his head. It Brown's hit it again. It's safe without the feet. It's a scramble. How has that not gone in? Normal to run a shot. Gale's put it back in. Looking for a head somewhere. It's Gale. I don't know who's put it back in. Normal's put it in. Gale trying to poke his head from the yard. Oh, no. Again. It's Simon breaking into the box. He's got a chance. Yeah. Looks 
out the ground after Wigan nil, Stoke City one. A much needed win. And I was really, really pessimistic going into that one. We've turned the odds around, got the three points and vital. It lifts us out of the relegation battle. Um, but I think the most important thing is is building on this and make sure it doesn't happen again. Not being entitled or anything, but we shouldn't be down at the bottom of the table, especially with the squad of players we've got. It was a really nice finish in the second half from time and, and we really did need it. Big three games now before the World Cup. Birmingham at home, Luton at home, two home games now back to back. And then we've got the big one, West Brom away. I'll be going to all three. So yeah, hopefully get a good run in before the World Cup. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Drop a like, subscribe if you are new around here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, Stoke.